China has built such a large number of smelters in the last 20 years, and they built them close to tidewater. They're far more competitive than a number of our own facilities that were built decades ago inland, where we wouldn't build them today. Even to open a rare earth mine, China can crush it overnight if they wanted to. So that's where I talk about the need for, you know, Canada wants to have a piece of the rare earth market in the early stages of the development of that. It's going to require pretty focused effort and it's going to have to be sensitive to, to market realities, which we are competing with a country that doesn't follow market principles. And that makes it harder. But I think what we've been seeing from our government, but also other governments in uh, the Western world that are market based, an increasing recognition that to compete against China in some of these areas, we're going to need to look at, you know, tools that we haven't really relied upon in recent history, whether it's offtake agreements, whether it's, you know, direct government support for certain products like rare earths. To really build this, this sector, we're going to have to do things we haven't wanted to do in the last 20, 30 years.